The internet is full of car hacks. Ah! But are these hacks actually any good? Well, we're about to show some real mechanics, a bunch of car hacks from the internet to decide if they're legitimate or horrible advice. That's real mechanic stuff. All right, first clip. <laughs> oh, okay. So this is a this is an anti cat theft setup we got going on here. <laughs> you got yep. steel cable. They got razor wire. They got chain. And I think I see a few zip ties. Here. That's badass. It takes only like three minutes to take it off because mm. you just cut it mm. and those two bolts and that that bad boy is gone. Imagine that comes off on the freeway. Oh, oh you're setting a trap for, for that for, hot pursuit that yeah, just drove by yeah. us. <laughs> so what is in a catalytic converter that makes people want to steal them so dang bad? It has to be the platinum in there. There's three rare earth metals, right? There's platinum, there's palladium, and rhodium. Platinum is just what everyone refers yeah, to exactly. the most. All these junkyards were paying top dollar. They're paying like maybe a thousand bucks to fifteen hundred dollars per cat. The weight oh, on yeah. the calorie converters yeah. right now is six months to a year. So do you think it would be defeatable? Yeah, definitely. Might take a little longer. Yeah. But you can get right. through that. Like so you see where the barbed wire is at, like this? Yeah. So if you cut this side and just take all those two bolts, mm -hmm. yeah, you're gonna have a hard time jimming it out, but mm -hmm. still kinda like doable. So what do you think? Legitimate hack or totally whack? I would say that's totally whack. I'll go whack. It's whack. When you're wrenching on a car, you often need to lift it off the ground for ease of access. This internet car hacker came up with a homebrew solution to streamline that exact process. He's making something. To... Got a little bit of fabrication. You know. Oh, that's nice. It's cute. It's cute. That's cute. <laughs> that's cute. First off, this is a 350Z, looks like a drift car. It looks like he took the factory uh, spare jack, spare tire jack that comes in the car, he's attaching it to the yeah. rear. He's gonna use a drill to, Yeah, exactly. it's gonna be a manual jack. Yeah. It kind of makes sense a little bit, uh, but they do have like hydraulic jacks that you could build into your chassis where it lifts it up pretty fast. They use that for like racing cars. But that sounds that. expensive. You, you're right about that. It's, it's <laughs> Pricey. This is a great hack for somebody who needs to lift a certain car a bunch of times. I think long term, maybe something might break and you might have to re weld something, but like yeah. I said, it's a pretty good idea for right. his situation. Longevity, yeah, but the idea is it's all right. It's there. So, what do we think? Is this a legitimate hack or totally whack? I would give him a legitimate hack on this. Yeah, same. I'll, I'll go with a hack. You probably have a bunch of buckets in your shop or garage. You probably have two buckets that decided to become one bucket and there's nothing you can do about it. Or is there? Then just jam it in the crack where it's stuck. Wow. What? No way. Compressed air, man. Yeah, I got these buckets. They've been stuck together for like two years. <laughs> two years? <laughs> yeah, the power of air. Now I got two buckets to use. I've had some buckets stuck. Uh, yeah. I'm not gonna lie, I've never tried this method. I've done yeah. the old classic, you grab one, I grab the other, and yeah. just pull them apart. Yeah. Does this happen at your shop? Yeah. <laughs> My dad's so like, oh, you don't got balls, you rip it off. I'm like, you do oh, it. You do it. <laughs> I got two old orange buckets under my stairs right now stuck together. Nice. Probably gonna go back to the shop and yep. shoot them with some air. Report back. I don't gotta go to Home Depot no more. I'm gonna go through Yeah, just <laughs> Is this a good hack or would you say this is whack? Amazing hack. It's <laughs> a good hack. Legit hack. Legit hack. Next hack. Oh, we got a rope. Is he trying to just doing? start the car? <laughs> wait, wait. Uh, okay. I think this is another method of push start. We would call this pull start. This has to be a, a stick shift car. Right, for why one. is that? Because um, if it's automatic, you won't be able to start it by pulling the wheels. Right. We got a, a rope wrapped around the wheel. I guess, kind of like pulling a lawnmower. I feel like I'm doing a lawnmower right there. That's uh, yeah, this is, yes, that's exactly, right. he's, he's moving the crank. When you push start a car, you need to have a decent amount of velocity before you pop the clutch. It's true. Because if not, it's not gonna start. Let's just say you're stuck, right? And the car turns off, your battery's kind of dead. It won't, it won't crank over. So you're in the gas station, perfect. And there's a little slope right there. Mm -hmm. Put in first gear, let it roll down, boom. It'll turn right on. Yeah, pop the clutch. Pop the clutch and you're ready to roll. Everything engages, starts on. to spin, compression hits, done, you got it. gone. I just think he, this looks way easier than what it really probably is. Do you think it's even possible for a human to be strong enough to yank it 
with a rope? If you're the rock, maybe. What do you think the odds are of somebody just actually being in the car and starting it up when I say this? the odds are probably more than not. So this is plausible, but is. not definitely. I'd like to see a this hack. in person. Yeah, same. Yeah. Would you call this a hack or bull internet whack? A oh, whack. Whack <laughs> all the way. Whack. If we're grading the hack, this is yeah. whack. Bad advice is often spread by disguising it around a bunch of good advice. So just because someone on the internet gives you a bunch of good hacks, doesn't mean that the next thing they show you won't be internet garbage. So let's take a look at the next hack. All right, we got a flat tire here. And he's gonna, oh. Is this the same car from Five Minute Crafts? <laughs> he's using an air hose as a transfer to the other tire. So now you have two almost flat tires. I've never seen anybody do that. Well, the thing is, something made the tire go flat in the first place. Right. So how far is that going to get you? I love how they labeled it fixed. You know what? I've actually taken tires to inflate another tires. If you got a leaky tire, you know, you got a nail in it or something, uh, and you throw more air in it, it's just going to leak right out again, isn't it? Yeah, and it depends on uh, the size of the puncture first. If the whatever puncture the tire is still in it, it's going to mm. be a very slow leak at right. that point. So you might be able to put air in it and yeah. get somewhere, but if whatever punctured the tire it went in and out, that air is going to come right out in yeah. 30 seconds. And maybe it's a real slow leak. Maybe you just got a leaky valve stem. Yeah. So this could buy you a little bit more time. But Sometimes nails will clog mm. a hole. Mm. It'll leak a little bit, not a lot. So it's that's possible. Yeah. You know, if you would have blown into that, I would have given him props. Oh. <laughs> Best thing you could do is uh, have a spare. And if you don't have a spare, have a, a tire repair kit. They're sold yeah. at everywhere. They're sold everywhere. How's a spare that? is not going to cost you anything. You put it back on and you go fix your tire and that's it. So would you call this a hack or is it whack? I'll call it a hack. So I'm going with whack on this Yeah, one. me too. Yeah. A hack is only as good as its utility. So let's see this next clip. More zip ties. <laughs> oh yeah. They're, there is a zip tie on there with the air. What? Take I that. think this is a hack to keep the oil from oh, hitting getting your on your hand. <laughs> yeah. Just That's get your it. fingers dirty. Get your fingers Come dirty, on. bro. Come on now. If you got quick hands, you don't yeah. need to do this. <laughs> yep. What's mm -hmm. the advantage of doing this instead of just use, keep using the wrench and get your hands dirty? You don't f up your pedicure. You know what? If I get a drop of oil on my hand, oh, well. so be it. If you don't like oil on your hand, you shouldn't yeah. be doing oil changes. You're in the wrong business. Yeah. Yeah. Waste of time. So would you call this a hack or would you say it's whack? A whack. I would give it a whack. Whether you're a mechanic or working in your home garage, you're working with lots of liquids and chemicals that will ruin your day if you accidentally spill them. So let's take a look at a hack that appears to eliminate the fear of spillage. All right, let's see here. What we got? Well, we've got a little bit of hose. He's got a little hole to stick his compressed air in, so he's going to... Oh, transfer okay. fluid. Yeah, he's ciphering. He's taking fluid out. Yeah. And that's how you take gas from your neighbor. I mean, <laughs> you can start a siphon without air, without sucking. Um, you just got to fill the hose up and then drop it below. And the, the key uh, is uh, gravity. It has exactly. to be the fill point has to be lower than the bucket right. you're transferring. So if you from. fill that hose and then drop the mouth of the hose below the point of the liquid, the siphon will automatically start. Automat and it'll go all the way to the last drop. Yeah. If you're going to siphon against gravity, that's a good hack. Yeah. To use the compressed air, little hole in the hose, get your liquid flowing. That's a really good uh, a method to use to pick up anything that's oil, water. The shop has like a little dip. A bit of a dip in yeah, it. just put it right there, let it soak out outside, and that's it. Haven't you heard of the Venturi effect? What? Well, there it is. <laughs> what do you think? Legitimate hack? I'd give it a legitimate hack. Yeah. yeah. Hack. Definitely all the hack. Way. I mean, it's science. A typical mechanic needs tens of thousands of dollars worth of tools to do basic maintenance on all types of vehicles. If you don't have the right tool, what do you do? Oh, mechanic Steve. I know this guy. The head is off the block and they're pulling pistons out, but he's using another part of the engine. Big ring gears from like yeah. a flywheel yeah, or exactly. a flex plate or something. That's nice. The way he's doing it is nice. It's almost like snap ring pliers. That was about, yeah. So what or, would the right tool be in this situation? I, I don't know. I really don't know. I, that one? <laughs> the correct way would be drop your oil pan, move the crank out yeah. of the way, pull your rods down with the pistons. Seems like he's doing it on the street, so yeah. he improvised. All right, so what do you think? Legitimate hack or super whack? No, that's a legitimate hack. Yeah, I agree. Hack. All right, cool. It's a hack. Now, sometimes you have too many tools, but not the right tool for the job. This one is going to be right here. 
Yeah. Oh yeah, this is good old classic wrench on wrench crime. Yep, a little wrench on wrench action. Oh, um, the I'm triple wrench. This. Yeah, I do this a lot. I've I do this a lot. This. Oh. Oh. At least it broke free. It broke free or it's yeah, not? Yeah, it broke free. Look like he's breaking a bolt that's stuck. Uh-huh. And, and so why does he have all those wrenches stacked He's giving up? himself more leverage. That's he probably right. doesn't own a breaking bar. That's probably I guess why not. he has all those wrenches. Or maybe it looked like it might be kind of a, a I didn't short notice. The area. clearance? Yeah. So he's like kind of in oh, there. okay, yeah, it I Might see be that. tough to get a socket yeah. with like a half inch breaker bar in there. So this might be the only thing that he's got nearby that'll fit in there. When you need yeah. extra torque, you don't have a, 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 a breaker bar. You got to do this kind of method. Even sometimes you have like extensions all the way outside. Yeah. You're over here like, I got it. I say three is probably the max I'd ever try. Yeah. If I ever tried three. Yeah, I've really only done two. Yeah. Um, but I could see in a situation like that. Where I needed one more wrench. Yeah, so yeah. I think three is okay. Yeah, three is okay. Would you say this was a hack or would you say this was whack? It was a hack. What do you think? Legitimate hack? Yeah, legitimate hack. Definitely legitimate hack. Let's see this next clip. Homemade axle boot. Oh yeah, baby. It actually cool. works. It actually <laughs> works. Well, hey, look how smart they're spinning it. So he's, you know, he's just holding it there. That looks like saran wrap. Oh no, no, no. That's packing tape. Dude, packing tape has many uses. Why not duct tape? Yeah, really. Duct tape is magical. All right. So for people that don't know, can you explain to them why axle boots are important? They're important, like dirt won't go in there, so water, moisture, it doesn't make everything corroded inside that. So the boot holds all the grease in there, keeps it nicely lubricated. Uh, the axle boot is really just a covering. It keeps the grease inside the axle to keep the U-joint uh, in there. That's what the easiest way to describe it. It's like a U-joint type lubricated. There's so much flexibility and movement inside of that axle shaft that it always has to stay lubricated. But it's definitely not a fix. Yeah, definitely not a fix at all. This is uh, maybe in a certain type of emergency, last minute, last choice, last yeah. resort type thing. So if an axle boot is torn, is that the end of the world? No, it's not. So why do people freak out as soon as they see a torn axle boot? Because your rim's getting dirty, the neighbor's floor is dirty, your floor is dirty, everything's Greasy. Yeah, it's just slinging, just getting on your starter. Yeah, and, and then else. you're confused. You're like, is uh, my car leaking oil? Yeah, what, 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 what do you think? Easy. This is whack. Yeah, whack. Hack? Hack. Picture this. You're in a crowded parking lot. You're pressing your fob button to make the sound, but your car is too far away. You might want to try this next hack. That right there, that's your car. Yeah. Right? All right. Go ahead. Unlock your car, please. Okay, he says nothing's happening. He's far away from his car. Yeah, okay, nothing, to... right? Touch it to your head and do it. To my head? What do you mean? Yeah, touch it to your head. Wait, how? Like, like, like this. How yeah, yeah, far yeah. is this car? Is the one way? Oh, yeah, the one way no, down there. My mouth? No, no my mouth. Go. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> that works. Does it? It does. You've tried it? Yeah. That's how they jack your cars now. Like, they oh. amplify from your phone. Oh, yeah, we, we did that. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, we, we yeah. stole a Tesla. It was fun. Yeah, so it works. I do this. This is one yeah. that I do, like, when Guilty I'm, you know, too. near a parking mm -hmm. garage or whatever. I leave in my car. I'm like, tap the remote. Yeah. Put it, sometimes even tap the remote on your head. Yeah, <laughs> and I've had it, I think, work and give me more range. Where, like, it's not going, and then I'm like, boop, boop. Hey, you think you're work. Magneto, you're like, eh, this is fucking... <laughs> <laughs> I think, I don't know, maybe you're, you're, the shape of your head like focuses the, <laughs> I don't know what it is. I don't know either, but uh, but I love this hack. Yeah, it's, this is a good hack. Yeah, definitely a hack. All right, well, I guess it's a hack. Yeah. We have one more clip to show you that could be genius, but it's also from 5-Minute Crafts. I have zero, absolutely zero expectations on this one. Before we look at it, remind the people who you are and where they can find you. I'm Junior from Ben's Tires and Brakes. Uh, you can find me on Instagram at BJ underscore EJ6 and my shop's at Ben's Tires. Miranda's shop on Instagram. This clip is called When You Absolutely Need New Tread on Short Notice. Uh, so it looks like he's making a hot pin? Mm-hmm. Oh. I want to say it looks like a soldering pin with a piece yeah. of metal strapped to it to Basically make it a hot knife. Thing, yeah. yeah. He's down to a slick. Yeah. And he's cutting new thread right into it. This is a called tire regrooving. And it's really common on 
truck tires, 18 yeah. wheel tires, you know, they have multiple layers of, they were called plies, that's what yeah. they call 12 ply, 14 ply tires. So they got multiple layers when they're made and yeah. when they wear out to flat, some guys don't like regrooving. They get rid of the tire all in all, but some states allow regroup tires on the road yeah. and a lot of truckers regroup their tires. But for passenger tires like this, definitely not something you want to do. At a certain depth, the wires will start showing. Mm. So if you go too deep and you get the wires, then that's it, that tire's trash. So okay. it works, but it really, you gotta know what you're doing. I don't know how real this is, cause he cut pretty deep and there's a lot of rubber left on this it. This tire looks kind of suspect. Yeah, it looks like, like they, they like filled it in. It yeah. How do they get the thread pattern so nice and symmetrical? I don't know about <laughs> using it on the road, but in off-roading, it works. Regroovers are really good. That's the Because you get that tread back and you're already off road, so you don't have to worry about it popping or going too far, mm -hmm. whatever. It's and you can do your own design. Exactly. All right, so what do you think? Is this, this a hack or is this whack? This is whack. Hack. Hack. All the way. There's a lot of internet garbage out there, but also some real genius stuff. And we want to hear from you. If you know any legit hacks or if you found some suspicious videos for real mechanics to take a look at, let us know in the comment below. And hit that subscribe button so you don't miss our response to your recommendation. Bye for now. Y'all have a good one. Bye. Peace.